everyone. All right. This week's devotional is one that I forgot about. I was going to read this this year, but I ended up reading something else. It's called God is with you every day by Max Lucado. And those of you who are on Bookshare, it is on there. So here's our devotional for Sunday, February 7th, 2021. Entitled Be Moved. Anyone who asks who has two shirts should share with the one who has none, and anyone who has food should do the same. Luke 3:11. NIV. Human hurt is not easy on the eyes, yet there is something fundamentally good about taking time to see a person. Simon the Pharisee once disdained Jesus' kindness toward a woman of questionable character, so Jesus tested him. Do you see this woman? Luke 7:44 emphasis mine. Simon didn't. He saw a hussy, a streetwalker, a scamp. What do we see when we see figures beneath the overpass encircling the fire in a 55-gallon drum, the news clips of children in refugee camps, the reports of grueling poverty at home and abroad. When Jesus saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them, Matthew 9:36. This word compassion is one of the oddest in scripture. The New Testament Greek lexicon says this word means to be moved as to one's bowel for the bowels were thought to be the seat of love and pity. Compassion, then, is a movement deep within, a kick in the gut. Perhaps that is why we turn away. Why look suffering in the face if we can't make a difference? Forget what is by seeing. Wait. Yet what if, by seeing, we were moved to compassion, moved not just to see, but to do? Outlive your life. It has other two different titles, but um, wow, it's hard to do sometimes, isn't it? To see people through God's eyes and not through our prejudices and judgments and stuff like that. But yeah, that's a challenge for all of us, isn't it? Lord, help us to see everyone through your eyes, no matter who the people are, in Jesus' name. And for the record, no, I'm not going to watch the Super Bowl, but you guys have fun. <laughs> Anyways, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.